experience, but I feel like talking about it will help and getting my story out there. So basically, the U.S. government um, held me hostage in an undisclosed location for for at least seven hours. I don't know how long it was. I was trying to go back to Houston. I went to the airport and customs they they flagged my my account and basically brought me to this room and. I, I just waited there, and, and waited there, and waited, and waited there, and waited, and waited, and waited some more, and, and, and then when the waiting was almost over, I, I waited more, and I just kept waiting and waiting. Where am I? Where am I? Am I? Hello? What's happening? Where am I? Let me out. Well, I've been in with my time. I can't do it. I can't do this. Okay, sorry guys, um, it's really traumatizing for me. I have my composure now, but, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love doing stuff like this. Basically, I graduated, right, and on my student account, after you graduate, like, you need a reason to stay in the country, so I applied for OPT, Optional Practical Training which allows you to work in your field of expertise, which would be my degree, psychology, and minor in business administration. While I was there, my ankle was bothering me, and I told Athletic Canada, and I got to a frustrated point, and so they flew me back. They didn't know what was going on, I didn't know what was going on, and because I'm a graduate, the school can't really do much for me in that sense. I'm done now, so I'm not in their jurisdiction. So I came back here, found out I needed surgery, got the surgery, waited of like four weeks so I can get my cast off and get the walking boot to try and go back to the US and on July 10th I went to the airport they brought me in customs and so many people were in there but by the time I left there was no familiar faces like everyone I went in there with everyone that came in after I came in was already gone and then they called me after eight hours saying we can't let you in the country um, your work account says requested but not pending or approved and I can't get any updates on that because my mailbox is in the U.S. All the stuff that they would mail to me is in the U.S. So I don't know what's going on. I can't get back into the U.S. I'm stuck here for a while, so I had to detour everything. But I'm going to rehab here and work here, see what I can do from here. Still stay in contact with H. Child Speed City and Carl and all that. See what happens. You never know. Don't let anything stop you from being you and doing you and being your best self the journey isn't going to be exactly as you planned but the destination could be that and more that's all i think about whenever something like this happens to me i just remember my goals and i remember where i'm trying to be who i'm trying to be what i'm trying to do then all of this just doesn't mean as much it doesn't sting as much because i know Despite all of this, I'm still going to be there, you know? I'm still going to be in Tokyo winning a gold medal. It doesn't matter where I did it from or what happened before that. That's how I think about it. Perspective. Deuces. <laughs>